In this video, I'm going to show you how to get events to work again in the 3DS Pokemon games. Also with this method, you can get events to work on the DS Pokemon games again as well. So if you're having trouble connecting to the fan Wi-Fi server to get these events, you might prefer this method because it doesn't connect to any server whatsoever. To do this method, the only thing you're going to need is a modded 3DS. Every model of the 3DS works with this method, including the new 3DS, the new 2 3DS and the 2DS. You just need to make sure that your 3DS that you're using has homebrew on it. This will not be a guide on how to install homebrew on your 3DS, so if you need to learn how to do that for this video, I will link a video in the video description here that will teach you how to homebrew your 3DS. Once your 3DS is modded, or if you already have a modded 3DS, then we're going to open up this GitHub site which will allow you to download PKMS. Keeping this site open in the background, you're going to want to go to your 3DS and open up FBI. Once you're in FBI, scroll down to Remote Install, and then scan a QR code. From there, all you have to do is scan this QR code with your 3DS camera, and the app will install by itself. After PKMS is installed, insert the game you want to get your events on. This could be any mainline Pokemon game on the DS or the 3DS. Once you've inserted your chosen game in your 3DS, we're going to want to boot up PKMS. From here, you'll see that PKMS has recognized your cartridge and you can modify it. If you have a digital copy of a Pokemon game, it will also appear here as well. So this method also does work for games installed on your 3DS. From here, select the Pokemon game you want to get events on. Once you do that, you can open up the events menu and install any event you would like to your game. With this method, you can install events from other regions, but I have not tested this out personally, so I don't know if this works or will affect your save file, so I would just be cautious before you would try that. Anyways, once you've found the event that you want to do, you could inject it into your game, and from there, click on this icon to save it, and you're good to go. And with that, you can install any Pokemon event for the 3DS games or the DS games. I hope you found this video helpful. Bye!